Welcome back to our second half hour tonight. Following that deadly elementary school shooting in Nashville earlier today, law enforcement agencies were hit with fake reports of shootings at other schools all across the country. Several schools right here in southwest Missouri were temporarily placed on lockdowns while police investigated reports of shots fired at Kickapoo, Carthage, Branson and Ozark, just to name a few. Fox 49 Shadia Tomlin is live from Ozark High School where the all clear was given, but not until about 3.30. Shadia. That's right. And parents said that today was a terrifying situation for not just them, but for the children involved, too. But now they're relieved that their children's school did not strike with tragedy. From a parent's standpoint, I mean, anytime you hear anything like that, you feel completely helpless. Parents and students shaken up following a string of false active shooter calls to schools across Missouri. Kickapoo, Ozark High School. Branson High School, Carl Junction High School, and Carthage High School over in the Jasper County area all were, fell victims to this call. In Ozark, both the junior and high school were put on a lockdown. There was a possible active shooter in the school. Parents at Ozark High School crowded the area waiting to see their children. I got the news from the kids first, just them texting me and messaging me, saying what was going on and what they thought was happening. Um, so that was super scary. It's kind of nerve wracking and stressful. And you just, right now, I just, I want my arms around both of my girls. Mm -hmm. I just want them home. These fake reports are called swatting, where triggering calls or texts are made so law enforcement have to respond to them. People have been injured, people have been killed because of these hoax calls in, on a smaller scale than this. You've got officers running code, running hard to get to to get to the threat and get it neutralized. And it's it's just, it's creating a, a dangerous environment all the way around. Sergeant Mike McClure with the Highway Patrol says that though these calls turned out to be false alarms, they were still treated like a high level threat to students. They're still doing their protocols. They're still doing not just a primary search, but secondary searches for we're gonna let our kids back into the school uh, because that's, safety is paramount. Here at Ozark High School, they continue on with sports practice as normal after that all clear. Police say that they will be investigating into these calls. Reporting live in Ozark, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozark's First.